It won't always be like this. Hey guys, I'm on a journey to hear every song ever recorded. If you guys jump into this dude, go ahead and hit that subscribe button now. Today, we're going to be taking a quick little look at the brand new album, It Won't Always Be Like This, by brand new rock band, they're not that new, Inhaler. Now this band is known for being fronted by Elijah Houston, who is one of the multiple sons of Bono, who has no last name. This band has been around since 2016, or perhaps a little bit earlier than that. But I never like to just give the frontman credit, so we also got Robert Keating, Josh Jenkinson, and Ryan McCall McCall Also got a live uh, band member, Lewis Lampert, on keyboards and synthesizers. Just gonna get a little bit of negativity out of the way, but I am not. I usually don't like album covers. I just, I'm really picky about them, and I don't like the album cover for this. But, you know what they say, it's easy to not only judge something by its cover, but also by the lineage of its front man. And I went into this with that bias, where I was like, this is possibly going to be uh, U2 light or YouTube for um, the next generation, whatever. Is that... That all the band members were born in like 99, 2000. I was like, whoa, whoa, I'm feeling very old. I was born in, in 85 and I'm feeling every year of it. I was very pleasantly surprised with this album. I, I, I was not really uh, prioritizing listening to it, but I just, I got in the mood on the leaving work today. And uh, the album kicks off with the title track and um, it really had an amazing um, rhythm section that, that grabbed my attention right off the bat. My honest face was a, a little bit of a change of Sonic. I feel like this album really hits its groove right in the middle. And I was looking at the singles released off this. Most of this album was released as a single, except for the songs that I liked. Oh! I'm a weirdo. I like the most unpopular songs. I'm not trying to be a hipster. That's just sort of, I'm looking at the Spotify numbers right now. And yeah, I like some of the least popular songs. A Night on the Floor and My King Will Be Kind. That second one really surprised me with the strong language, but at the same time, the positive message in that track. This band is not U2 liked. Although Elijah's vocals do very much mirror Bono's epic vocal uh, prowess and he's just, it's ingrained in him and you can hear the U2 influence. It's not like he's just totally moving on to something different. So it does have that familiar sound which maybe a lot of us were expecting, but it sounds like it's being put through a, a filter of maybe I'm hearing Gorillas, The Strokes. You know, we are at a point in rock and roll where a lot of the bands, um, they're children. Um, you know, like Green Day's Billy Armstrong, his children are in bands. Um, Dexter Holland's daughter, uh, Dexter from the Offspring, his daughter is a musician. We're getting into that point now where, you know, we do have to look at, you know, who's going to be wearing the mask in Slipknot 20 years from now? Who's going to be wearing the makeup in Kiss? Who's going to be continuing the legends of rock and roll? And uh, this band, this band has promise. This is a very solid debut from a rock band. I'm not ranking or rating it in this video, but I just wanted to talk about it. It's a, it was a lot of fun to listen to on the drive home from work. And I can't wait to get to know this band a little better. Um, yeah, they've been around 2016 to 2021. And uh, they're pretty good. Check it out. Thank you, guys. It won't always be like this. Subscribe.